Here we are now, three months after the surgery, just some topical corticosteroid irrigations are used, and it's interesting to show how narrow that middle meatus becomes. There's not really a lateralization of that middle turbinate. Once mucosalization has occurred, that's often the width of the middle meatus. The corner pocket can be seen, maybe a little circular to the sphenoid opening, and you can see the frontal recess there, easily visible with a zero degree scope. On the contralateral side, once again, the small septoplasty that was performed aids access to this middle meatus, which really allows just the passage of a three millimeter endoscope. The corner pocket and the junction between the roof and the optic canal is a little clearer here. And we look up here, we can see where a little bit of the bone of the axilla has scarred over, but we still have a very obvious frontal recess pathway. Small adhesion, blunting off the medial corner to our frontal recess. So every boundary is visible except for the medial boundary, which a small adhesion web has formed. And this really highlights the importance of needing to provide an irregular and not a circular opening to the sinus cavities. This side's a little better. Intersinus septal cell on this side has all been well managed. Um, once again, having a look now with a 45 degree scope, we can see into the maxillary sinus, there's no sign of any secondary ostium. And it's important to look down at the floor of the maxillary sinus to see if a sump or, or incomplete mucociliary recovery has occurred.